Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 2, prime and composite numbers. Page number is 491. Guys, what are prime and composite numbers? Any number which just have one factor, as I told you, factor pair, not factor. Factor pair, one factor pair. If, for example, let's say 5, you will have only one factor pair, 1 times 5. And how many factors? 2, 1 and 2, right? So any number like this 5 have just one factor pair and only two factors, that is known as a prime number. And any number like this have more than one factor pair, like 1 times 6 and 2 times 3 is also 6, more than one factor pair, or you can say more than two factors. How many factors it have? 1, 2, 3, and 4 factors, right? So that is known as composite number. Again, guys, any number would just have one factor pair or only two factors. That is known as a prime number. And any number that have more than one factor pair or more than two factors. Okay, this one is known as factor. And they combine known as factor pair. Got it, guys? Here... Blair is arranging 18 cupcakes on a shelf. Find the factors of 18. Okay. So these are the factors of 18. Factor pairs. These are the factor pairs. And here we will write the factors. 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. So we have more than one factor pair. And more than two factors. So it is a composite number, not a prime. How we write the factors like this 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. These are the factor pairs and these are the factors. From where I bring this from here? 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. 6, 9, 18. Okay. Actually, what they want you, they're asking you to arrange 18 cupcakes on a shelf. So, into how many ways you can arrange it? You can make a complete row of 18, like one row of 18 cupcakes. You can make two rows of nine cupcakes. You can make three rows of six cupcakes, right? Three rows, six cakes. Two rows, nine cakes. So this is the way. This is the uh, real life use of factor pairs. Like if you want to arrange something and you know you have, for example, 18 cupcakes, you want to arrange. So to find that into how many ways you can arrange your cupcakes, so you will find the factor pairs of your total cupcakes. Okay. This one now, these are the rules, the same thing as I told you up here. Okay. But there is a new thing. Prime number, any number that have one factor pair or two factors, one and itself. Okay. That is a prime number. More than one factor pair or more than two factors that is composite number and what about one this number is not prime not composite what we call it we call it neither prime nor composite why because one only has one distinct factor you can have only one factor one times one so there is only one factor one that's it no more factors this one have prime numbers always have two factors like this two factors one and five the other number okay so one doesn't fits in the category of prime number so it is neither prime it is nor composite come to the next page guys 73 cards 73 is a prime or composite 1 and 73 only one factor pair so it is a prime number 
one as I told you neither prime nor composite five it's a prime number 15 it's a composite how let us check we can write 1 times 5 we can write 3 times 5 right okay 21 we can write it as 3 times 7 also so this is also a factor pair 1 times 21 3 times 7 so it is not prime 31 only 1 times 31 61 only 1 times 61 so it is prime 26 we can write it as 1 times 26 and 2 times 13 so it is not prime it is composite let's move to the next page guys independent practice you have to solve this by yourself and then match your answers from this video okay easy numbers just you have to write that this number is prime or composite you can uh, pause the video and write match the answers okay but first you have to solve it by yourself okay from here from this table they want you guys to circle the prime numbers like the circle and cross out the numbers that are composite or neither neither is what one is neither and remaining all composite and the circled one primes Write a prime number that is greater than 50, 53. Write a composite number that is greater than 70, 72. What prime number is greater than 88 and less than 95, 89? Okay. Uh, 20. They want to plant vegetables okay and they want to use 20 seeds so in into how many ways so you will find the factor pairs of 20 so these are the factor pairs of 20 and it is a composite number because more than one factor pairs so some make a cult uh, 49 49 is a prime or composite guys it is a composite because 7 times 7 right 49 has more than one and itself as factor so making it composite Hera add the prime number 3 and 7 and get the composite number 10. She states that the sum of any two prime number is a composite number. No, she is wrong. Like for example, 2 is prime and 3 is prime. If you add them, you get 5. You get again prime. So sometimes when you add both prime numbers, sometimes you get composite number like 3 plus 7, 10. 10 is composite. And sometimes you get prime number like 2 plus 3, 5. What factors do prime numbers and composite numbers have in common? Prime and composite number have one and the number itself as a factor. So even if it is prime or common uh, composite, it must have a factor as one and itself. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Thank you so much guys. Uh, if you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.